hello my lovelies i hope you're all doing okay so today i am in the bristol primark store um i'm going to show you all around the store all the different new bits in um, i'm going to try and show you as many prices as possible but you will see later on this video that that became less uh, due to me carrying a heavy bag um, and trying not to break everything as well. So I do hope you really enjoy this and I'm going to leave you alone now to enjoy. Going back to your own life, living in the past, we're over there, I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying high. Sunsets, remember the colors They were wrong, it was way more than a dream We climbed up, yeah, over the hillside So right, we stood there all wide-eyed You and I, floating on air in my mind Cause there's no going back, no going back There's no going back to your own life Not living in the past I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying heights
I get so caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie That I die I can't hide
Primark. Uh, that was the Bristol store if you're interested. Um, as you can see from the footage, there was so many new things in. Um, lots of spring, summer items, home decor, uh, some children's bits. Um, yeah, just loads of really nice bits. Um, I didn't get loads today. Um, I didn't really need a lot, but I've got a few things to show you. So make sure you grab a nice cup of tea. I think, um, Louie, are you on your way to say hello? Hello, mate. You saying hello to everybody? Uh, you got kind of like your bum in, in the camera though. You, yeah, you need to look that way. Say hello to everybody. Mm, did you miss mummy? Did you? You're gonna be in my way though, aren't you? Good boy. Um, yeah, grab yourself a cozy drink of choice. I've got a cup of tea. I've not long got in. Um, first thing I had to do is make myself a nice drink. So make sure you grab yourself one too. Right, I'm going to start with the few clothing bits I bought. I didn't buy loads. Um, so I bought my granddaughter a set, which I thought went quite well. I absolutely love this and I think it's so adorable and very, very sort of spring vibes, I think. So I got a sweatshirt in size three to four. She is three, but she's very small. But obviously with sweatshirts, you can wear them a bit oversized. Um, and it says, shine bright, always happy. And this was only four pounds. It's so cute and the quality, it's really thick and it's super fluffy inside. And then I thought these would go quite nicely with it. They are really, really soft material super soft um these are in a three to four as well and they've kind of got the lilac in it so i thought that would match quite nicely um those were three pounds fifty so and they've got this nice kind of frilly sort of fluted edge to them as well so yeah i've got those for her and then I got some underwear bits. So um, I bought one of these for my daughter in a extra small, three pounds in a lovely kind of beigey color. And I also got myself one in beige. And I also got myself one in white. These are great of an evening. Um, obviously PJ sometimes are a little bit see-through, so it's quite nice to have something underneath. Um, and those are three pounds each. And then I saw these and I just thought, oh, they're just so pretty. Well, not pretty, but they just look and feel really luxurious. And I thought they were a really good price. So these were five pounds from, I don't know if this is new. They look like new labels, actually. The Primark collection. I bought a large 14 to 16, only because I don't think my boobs would fit in anything smaller. And they are kind of, well, like a satiny material. I just think they're really pretty. And they've got an elasticated back. Obviously I wouldn't wear these during the day because they're not going to be that supportive. But again, of an evening, underneath the PJs, I thought they were beautiful. So I got that color. What color do they actually word it as? A mocha. Yeah. And then I bought, again, five pounds. Well, this one's inside out. Let me just turn it around. What color do they word this as? Oyster. I'd say like a champagne -y sort of color. Again, in a large, they look a lot shinier actually on the camera. But they're so pretty. And I think for five pounds, it's really nice. And I just think, I don't know, I just think that you'd feel a little bit special. And I don't know, just nice. 
But yeah, so that is all of the clothing. So I didn't, like I said, didn't buy a lot. Um, then on to, actually there's only one beauty bit and then the rest is home. So I bought this, it's CBD Lash Serum. Uh, it nourishes and conditions infused with natural CBD oil, nourishing hemp, seed oil, and vitamin E. And that was three pounds. So I thought I'd give that a go. And CBD is meant to be really good for you. And um, it'd be nice if I could, like my lashes would grow a little bit. So maybe if they're nourished and the CBD might help with that. Um, so my first item was a reduced item. I showed this in the footage actually. These are glass bottles. Um, these were reduced from four to two pounds and it's in the scent green tea. And I quite like the packaging. Just keep these in one of the bathrooms. Um, yeah, and it smells. It's really weird actually, it says it's green tea, but I get the scent of like cucumber. Yeah, it smells really fresh. So I thought that was a bargain for two pounds. Um, I bought a reed diffuser in cotton and this was four pounds with the black reeds. I quite like the packaging. I do feel this is very H&M or Zara. So yeah, I can't go wrong with the scent of co cotton. Uh, I bought a sieve, a wooden sieve, and this was four pounds. And I just really liked the handle. And the one I've got is really big. So I thought it'd be quite nice to have a slightly smaller one. Um, I bought some um, Easter cookie cutters. There is a carrot, an egg, bunny rabbits, and then a rabbit's head. And I thought these were a bargain, £1.50 for all of those. Thought I could make some Easter biscuits, maybe for my granddaughter and I'm sure my kids will eat them too. So it's one pound 50, I thought it was really good. And then I bought this, which is just kind of like a sculpture to have out for decorative purposes. But I think I'm actually going to, I mean, I might change my mind, but I think I might spray this black. I, it, it feels, I'd say it's plastic actually. It's quite light. And I'm presuming you can either stand it up like that or just have it on its side. But yeah, I think that looked really nice in black, but I might change my mind. Oh, that was three pounds 50. So I really like that. And then I saw these, these were actually dumped. And then uh, I did I did go and have a look, see if this had any more colors, but they didn't. So this is a two pack of cotton linen pillowcases. Um, it's their sustainable cotton range and those were five pounds and they're just in like a natural sort of color. I thought they'd look quite nice against my white bedding. And then, oh no, not lastly, I was gonna say lastly, two more items. So this, I just really like four pounds. It's just the outline of a lady and her hands with a lovely wooden frame surrounding. And then it's got a simple hook on the back. And I really liked it. And I just thought for four pounds, I might put that in our downstairs toilet. I'm not too sure where it's gonna go yet, but I know I'll find a home. I really wish that they had more prints. I was looking through to check if they had other prints. So I thought it'd be nice to have a collection of three, perhaps but this was the only one they seemed to have. So I was a bit gutted about that, but yeah, I think it's really beautiful for four pounds. And then lastly, I bought uh, one of these jars, which is just a simple glass jar with a wooden lid, but you can have it stood up or have it on its side. And obviously you can have biscuits and things in. I'm thinking about maybe having it over in that corner with some biscuits in. Not that we're huge biscuit eaters, but we've got a few boxes left over from Christmas. So I thought it'd be nice to maybe put these in, in here. And that was five pounds for that. But 
really like the wooden lid. Um, I think I said in my last video um, that Primark at the moment are just copying H&M and Zara so much. In their store is so many dupes and it is a fraction of a price. I mean, something as simple as that on Zara's website will probably cost you three times the amount. Um, and it's still really good quality. So it's not, it's not cheap. It doesn't feel cheap, it's sturdy. So I think they're coming out with some really good dupes at the moment. So I hope this video has given you some inspiration, showed you around the store, you've had a good look and seen what is available at the moment. I think um, Primark have loads to offer at the moment. I think they're just constantly getting better and better. Um, and obviously we're coming close to spring slash summer, although summer does feel quite a way away. But I think spring is only just around the corner, so obviously they're getting in, <clears throat> excuse me, all of their spring items. So hopefully this has given you some inspiration um, and a look of what is in possibly your store. Like I said, the store I went to today was Bristol. I love Bristol. Um, and their home selection now is huge. Obviously, as you saw, it took ages to go around there today. But um, I really hope you enjoyed this. Only a really small haul, but obviously uh, a huge video of what is in store. I've got quite a few more videos lined up. I've got a small Zara haul. Uh, I've also got a Poundland haul. And also I've been to Ikea today. Um, I didn't film around Ikea, it was really busy. Um, obviously it's half term, so it was packed. Um, but I did buy a few bits and I will be showing that in one of my next videos. So take care everybody. Um, and I will see you really, really soon. Bye guys.